Way, hello everybody. So, after getting the Save the Date announcement a couple of months ago, the Fish Festival now has a name. We got some ticket details. Of course, it's taking place August 15th through the 18th in Delaware. And now, like I said, it has a name, Mond Green. I don't love the name. Like many things with this band, including my favorite and their first album, don't like the name. They got several songs, the Rogue, don't like the name. I don't know what it is with them. They just have these words that aren't very common words used in the English language. And uh, you guys know me. I'm not the great. I'm not exactly a wordsmith over here. So <sighs> even the name of the band is confusing to some, you know, so it makes sense. And of course, their festival would be called Mond Green. I guess Mond just means world. It's a French word right off the bat. I was like, so is it Monde? Monde? How do, how do you pronounce that word? All right. You know, I never never met a band before. I don't know if met's the right word. Never encountered a band in my life that made me feel dumb like this band does. They often do. They're not that smart either. I know they think they're smart. They went to Goddard or wherever. They're a little artsy fartsy school up there in Vermont. You guys aren't that smart. Calm down, all right? I've seen Mike's sneakers. You think that's a brilliant man? Come on. The Fishman. The Fishman's pretty brilliant, I gotta say. I, I can tell. Page, I don't know. It's 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 dicey. Trey, he's a wild man. There's a there's a brilliance in there somewhere. All right, so maybe in the um, uh, I don't know. Where the, now I'm confused. Now I'm all messed up. You know, they see this is what they do to me. <laughs> I'm calling a timeout. I'm Chris Weber in you. All right, okay, I'm just going to move on. Okay, ticket information can be found at fish.com. Good luck with that, and uh, Mond Green. That's the last time I'm saying it. From, from, from here going forward, it's just going to be referred to as the festival. And I've already had a lot of people ask me if I'm going to the festival. Right now, no plans. And as of right now, it looks like Mary and I have a big, a lot of plans to see comedy shows in 2024. In fact, right now, she's in there getting a little taste of Ticketmaster. I'm usually the ticket buyer, or if she does buy tickets, it's not really an in-demand event. But she's trying to score Dave Chappelle tickets to a small venue in Yellow Springs. And, uh, yeah, she's not getting anywhere. She's not having any luck at all. But, you know, she's still trying. Dave's doing three nights. Like, one of them, it's like tonight. I think it's like tonight, tomorrow, and whatever the next day is. What is it, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I guess? so hard to get tickets. It sucks because he plays just like so close all the time and um, it's impossible to get tickets really. Well, oh, 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 oh. well hey there buddy. Come here. So um, yeah, we're going to see Bill Burr, maybe see Chappelle. We're going to see Sebastian. We got King Gizzard tickets later in the fall. Oh, look at you. Look at this little guy. Look who came and joined the party. Yes. Are you the reason my room is always a mess? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's kept me warm these last few days, though, I'll tell you. It's so cold, and uh, he's a little lap kitty. He's a little purr monster. Are you a little purr monster? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, he's a little purr monster. No, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, hold on. I'm supposed to be doing a YouTube video here, buddy. Oh, no. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Come on. Come here. Come here. Yes. Let's show him your butthole. Yes. Look at the little butthole. Whoa, look at your butthole on YouTube. Oh, well, I haven't done a cat video in a while. Can you take cats to the festival? I heard tarps are not allowed. That's good. I think I could sneak a cat in, though. Although they'd be like, sir, why is your bag purring? Well, I don't know. Must be the drugs. <laughs> that you're on. <laughs> oh, look at the baby. All right, leave me alone. Seriously. I tried to explain to him before how serious this stuff is. All right, you know, and also I listened to a little bit of um, one of the Cincinnati 09 shows that I went to. I'm not completely through it. And I don't, I don't know what it is, but uh, I remember, part of the problem was, because I'm like, these shows aren't so bad. Why did I, like, abandon this band? And uh, part of it was was the repeats. You know, I went to, I think, five shows, three cities over a year and a half. Got a lot of repeated songs, including Time Turns Elastic in every city. That alone might have done it. And like I kind of touched on the other day in the Blossom video, I was starting, just starting to go to show solo at the end of uh, 04, 
when they came back in 09, I did do the Alpine shows with friends. I did one of the Cincinnati shows with friends. And then by the time we rolled around to Blossom, I was going solo, and then I was just completely out. Had nothing to do with those guys' body odor and from Chicago. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. Boom, we are out of here. I know this video was kind of a waste, but <sighs> I just wanted to have video of myself trying to pronounce Mond Green. There you have it. All right, guys, boom, we're out of here. Oh, you want to watch Floppy play a little bit? His legal name is Miles, but... His real name, unofficial name, has become Floppy. What are you doing back there, Floppy Jalopy? Everything is a cat toy now, too. I was going to title this video, The Festival Has a Name, but... Alright, guys, we're out of here. Boom. Six minutes. Lord. Oh, you know, I got so caught up on the first part of the word, Mond. That Mond Green is actually a word, and it's a misinterpretation of a, or even a mishearing of a word or phrase. The example, popular example given here online is Jimmy, the Jimi Hendrix song, Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky. A lot of people thought it was Excuse Me While I Kiss the Sky. It gives it a whole new meaning. You know what I mean? It's not what the artist intended. <laughs> All right. So really, Mond Green, a mishearing or misinterpretation of a phrase in a way that gives it a new meaning. So that's interesting. I still hate the word, but that is interesting. Boom. We're out of here officially this time. Hopefully you made it to the end.